Hey guys, what is up? It's Haley. Welcome. What is up? What's up? Why can't I say my own introduction? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. So I like I want to say I do realize that this is a ridiculous video, and I will get into explaining myself in just a sec. Before I do that, though, I do just want to address the fact that I can feel already that my voice is like two octaves deeper than it should be. I feel myself getting sick. I'm on the defensive. I think I still have a chance of like warding it off, but it's just gonna take a lot of things to taste really bad. Why is it that everything that's good for you tastes like? Sand. Anyway, <sighs> I'm tired also, and I have a headache. I'm gonna stop complaining, but I'm just trying to let you know that if my energy is a bit off in this video, that's why. Yeah, but I mean, this doesn't quite excuse what this video is. I have been thinking about filming this for a while. I just thought it would be a really cute idea because it's something that I would do with my friends if I had any. I mean, really what it comes down to is that I'm filming myself doing a chore. Um, yeah, welcome to my channel. But also, and mainly, over the last couple days, I have been having an existential crisis. Did I use that right? And I want to unpack it quickly, just in defense of what's coming, and also to get it off my chest. I feel like now that I'm creating content again, I'm so incredibly passionate about just talking to you guys and like making you laugh and making sure you're okay that I get a little bit disconnected from the creative, more artistic goals I have for this whole thing. Oh wait, ah, I feel like it's not even glued on. Oh, okay. And I think partly that that stems from the fact that I'm still trying to kind of figure out, re-figure out, I guess you could say, the internet, basically. I've done a lot of growing over the past year, but so is the platform. So a lot of the people who I follow are like in completely different places than they used to be. Like my favorite YouTuber of all time is like over 30 and just bought a house. And I'm... On the other hand, too, there are these people that are running around, adventuring their little life away, traveling, going to these crazy places, doing these incredible things, and looking absolutely fantastic while they do it. The adventure stuff, the travel -y stuff, that's all so important to me. And you know, I did. I partaked, partook. I traveled a lot, and I actually have a really great story about getting uh, stranded in the Singapore airport in my underwear. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying, that's the part of all of this that I gravitate towards more but at the same time I'm not there yet like I'm not able to share these experiences with you guys as they happen that's just not where my technical ability is yet it's not where I, my confidence is yet but that is still somewhere that I'm hoping to slowly move towards sorry I needed more tea and yes I'm wearing a bathrobe I will explain myself in a minute and I'm happy and I'm healthy but I still don't know how to put eyelashes on apparently and I'm almost ready to start frolicking around the world again with you guys and taking you on all my adventures and making memories together that stuff is coming however asterisks simply and generally I'm just putting like the finishing touches on getting my shit together that's kind of a weird place to be creatively but recently as of the bath I took this morning yes I take morning baths don't judge me I'm just gonna embrace that I want to travel to far off places and do crazy and cool things and look amazing and feel amazing and I'll get there but I don't want to wait to post till then and I feel like it might be actually interesting to kind of watch the evolution of that the way I see it in my head I mean I don't know if it's actually gonna be exactly how I envision it but I just feel like either way it'll be an entertaining ride so anyway ow, I have a foot cramp who gets feet cramps oh actually oh my god I have such a weird memory my mom used to get foot cramps all the time <laughs> what a weird thing to be thinking about on a rainy Saturday I went through all of the like therapy taking the time for myself all of the not fun parts of figuring out who you are and now I feel like I've kind of earned a little bit like a makeover I really feel like it's time I am ready on so many levels to just kind of have a change you know what I mean everything's gonna be kind of fresh and one of the things I want to be fresh is my wardrobe so I have not gone shopping like actually properly shopping and I don't remember how long so to make room for all of the things that I'm going to be adding to my wardrobe I thought it only fair and reasonable and like just even semi-intelligent to clear out all of the things that I know I don't wear that I don't like that don't fit me that don't make me feel good I haven't done a wardrobe overhaul ever in my life I actually don't know if I've ever sat down and actively picked through the clothes that I like don't wear historically I think 
I just like would lose stuff eventually or things would rip or get stuff poured on them. Like they would just get lost or like destroyed. And that's how my wardrobe kind of cycled out pieces. I already sorted through the things that are actually like not wearable anymore. The things that have holes in the butt. All of my leggings, for example. I kind of just have a big maybe pile in front of me. And here's my thinking, and I could be completely off, but I thought that it would be fun if we like decided together what I would keep, what I would sell, what I would donate. And I feel like I'm still in that process of trying to figure out what I like clothing wise, what my new style is, because I feel so different on the inside. And on the outside, I just look a lot different than I used to. I want to figure all of that out. I'm going to be saying, yes, for sure, I'm keeping something. I love it. It's absolutely great. In which case, I will tell you where that comes from. <laughs> Why was that so hard for me to say? Or I'm going to be saying, no, this isn't for me, doesn't fit me properly, isn't the right style. In which case, if you want it, you can have it. We'll figure something out. I don't know. Maybe we can do a like a, what's that? website that's every youtuber's making a video with right now. Poshmark we can figure out something with Poshmark or like you can just have it I don't know anyway let's start it's been like an hour and I've just been sitting here talking does that make sense I hope you have a snack and like a lot of time you're willing to waste I'm gonna be trying on all of these by the way and just to be entirely clear yes this is every single piece of clothing that I own that I'm gonna go through I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you absolutely everything but I'm like going through everything that I own to actually clear space so this is incredibly adorable actually I got this where was it oh I know where it was but I'm not gonna say it because I can't pronounce it somewhere in the Netherlands I got this from Zara it's this really really cute rust colored crop top this I might not be able to try on I mean I can try here's the only problem is that I very ambitiously got a small it's just too tight I mean to be fair it's only tight in the boob spot which has never happened to me with a shirt ever in my life so can't keep it though as cute as it is and I haven't worn it actually out at all so if you want it the tags literally still on it that's that's gonna go in the giveaway slash sell pile I bought this I don't know how long ago it is a perfectly good dress have not worn it one time not a single time not at all it's just a classic cut the material super comfy and it has this cool little detail in the back I don't wear it but I should you know what I'll keep it because maybe there'll come a day when I feel like just putting that on with some sneakers next is this crop top I forget where I got it but I did get it recently and it's just it's a basic I have to say it's not my favorite thing in the whole world but I feel like I would regret letting go of it only because I haven't worn it yet I haven't gotten enough use out of it it's just that basic frill top smocked is that the right word I'm not a beauty person but that like stretchy fluffy netty fabric you know what I mean I love off the shoulder stuff but I just feel like it makes me look like a little girl I think I'm gonna give myself a little more time with it since I've just literally never worn it but it's already like I don't know see this I'm like not good at this here's what I'm realizing the way that I've set this video up doesn't really make that much sense I have to try everything on to see how I like it on and to see how I like the fit and then I have to decide whether or not I'm keeping something but I don't want to like be getting up and down the entire time because I'm just too lazy for all of that so here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do I've already started telling you about the products I'm gonna do that products are not products they're clothes okay <laughs> telling you about the clothes then I'm gonna try them on and then after like in editing I'll tell you whether or not I kept it or whatever or where you can find it if you want it or why I'm getting rid of it I just I'll do all of that later because I'm too tired and my head is literally throbbing so the reason I was reminded all of that is because this I remember it fit a little bit weird but my body is very different now than it used to be and it's actually bigger in places that I remember this being loose on so we can see and it gives me like a weird what is that but uh, you know it's not super my style because the pink is a little bit but it is also kind of dainty I don't know I don't have anything else like it you're allowed to keep things you don't have anything else like even if you don't like those things right that's not hoarders logic at all oh yeah so these I just have two of I got it from Primark and I got it actually in three sizes but the most recent time I got it in two so I got it in one wrong size had to take it back got it in two more sizes just in case neither fit one's too small one's too big there's no size in between I just wear the big one and I tie it up in the back and it's actually one of my favorite things that I own so I'm keeping that for sure this one's just too small for me what size is this this is a, a European 34 a USA 2 that's a no one yes at the same time oh yeah okay this shirt is really cool this is from from a really cool Australian shop um, and I got this and originally I was wearing it just very incorrectly so I didn't think that I liked it and I didn't think that the color was flattering on me and then I like learned how to tie it properly so that it just like worked a little bit better and I warmed up to the color this is actually one of my favorite shirts because it's just a little bit different I feel like it's different than what a lot of people have and it's also very different from anything that I have so I'm going to be keeping this for sure it's just something that I would pair with like a pair of boyfriend jeans back 
baggy boyfriend jeans or like a nice skirt or something I mean I don't know I'm still learning how to dress myself like a grown-up so I don't know how exactly I'm gonna wear this in the future but at the very least it's an open shoulder interesting little crop top you can't really go wrong can you I've had this for so long this is um this is just a black crop top it's a high neck and it has this cool strappy detail that wraps around your waist you know what I'm gonna keep this it is a little bit on the ratty side like it's just the fabrics giving way oh and there's just a nice stain on it that's I'm such a clean person this is cute uh, this is no longer my style I couldn't have worn this that many times I really don't think I did it is a cute uh, little shirt this is a for sure keep. This is my New Year's Eve dress that I have yet to wear on a New Year's Eve. Actually, no, I did. This past year, I did. I wore my New Year's Eve dress. We just stayed in the hotel room though, but we both got dressed up just for us and we stood, actually, we like broke out of our window onto the roof of like the building that we were next to. We stood out there, we were in Düsseldorf and like the fireworks went off. It was such a magical night. But I wanna wear this somewhere like actually fancy. I wanna go somewhere where I can get all dolled up and wear it. It's on my list of things to do this year. <laughs> this is from Paxson. This is the Kendall and Kylie collection. Um, I'll find, everything will be linked down below if I can find it. Actually, ooh, that's gonna be really hard. I don't know if that's true this time around, but this I will try to find you because this is a dress if you have a body type like mine. I would highly recommend so another fancy thing this is my only like evening wear kind of thing that I own I, I mean this kind of counts here's what I'll say I don't have anything I can wear this to now and I don't quite see myself having anything that I can wear this to for the foreseeable future but it's this gorgeous 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 gown it's this beautiful rust rose gold and it's such a flattering cut i feel like it'd be a flattering cut on absolutely anyone and you know what this dress makes me feel really pretty so i love this keeping this for sure it's just this really incredible lace little is this called a cap sleeve i'm not sure there's an actual sleeve which just adds a little bit of formality little what wow formality to it but at the same time it's just very impractical i don't know how to wear it i haven't really devoted time to trying to figure out how to wear it but it's just like like how do you put this on and not show the entire world that you're like your nipples you got no cover you're on your own I guess I don't know I'll try this on and then we'll decide but I do love the style of it the next thing I have is this cardigan this seems so cool and basic and like it just seems like something that you should have you know what I mean but I genuinely genuinely never wear it I have the same one in black and I wear that all the time and this I don't wear now but I wonder truly if it's because I don't have the right things to wear it with but I don't know how I feel about the print next is just my favorite and only pair of jean shorts I got these in Thailand for very 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 cheap there was just this girl cutting the pants off of jeans and selling them they fit great they're a basic you gotta have a pair of high-waisted distressed jean shorts <laughs> why, why did I do that I don't know but love these keeping okay this is for sure going why is this so dirty Ew. this is an oversized plaid shirt that I got from the men's section from Walmart like three years ago I think um I just truly don't wear it this is a no for sure I just don't like the color thought I did but I don't I feel like maybe it would look cool if you layered a bunch of gold necklaces on top of it but I for you know what it is for me it's this little cutout in the front I think that just makes it a lot more childish in my opinion but I feel like some people who have a style that this could easily slip into as a basic especially maybe with a preference for some brighter colors I don't know I think that maybe that could be nice okay here's a no I don't wear it it's comfy it's soft it's a cute color I have to say but in my personal opinion simply doesn't flatter my body it just hangs wrong on me I feel like and it's just not quite my style anymore so I can confidently say no to that you know what else I can also confidently I think say no can I this I have to get rid of. I think I've told this story before, but one time I was wearing this on a plane. The guy, the guy sitting next to me told me that his son also went to Yale and uh, asked me if I knew him. And I had to say, no, sir, I'm so sorry. My shirt just says kale on it. The paint's peeling off. It literally has just lived in the bottom of my bottom drawer for the past, I don't even know how long. This I can get rid of. I don't see myself wearing this again. I had a phase. This was just one of the four tops that I cycled through when we were in Thailand for two months. I wore this every day or one of three other things and that was just all that I had. Great memories in this. Oh my God, this is what I was wearing when I burned off my first set of eyes. 
eyelash extensions. Oh, I had this shirt. Actually, you guys might recognize it if you've been here for ages because I wore it when I was living in Idaho all the time. Um, but it used to be like one thing and now it's two because I took scissors to it in a fit of impulse. I cut it off at the seam that runs under the chest bit. Came out so cool. There's just this little bralette type thing now which I've worn underneath white t-shirts which I could theoretically even wear to the beach as like a swimsuit top. It's so comfy, so snug too. Like really love it. And the bottom half turned into a simple little bandeau top. So this is just one of those really cool wrap tops. It's long sleeve. It's comfy and it's almost a little bit warm even though it's thin. Flattering. I don't wear tons to be totally honest but it is something that I will feel okay keeping and I actually have this in black somewhere. I'm also going to keep that too I think until I do actually go out and buy new clothes. I need to make sure that I have comfy things that I can work with. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just trying to get rid of the things that I know I still won't like even when I get new clothes. Like a lot of these things none of them would look nice together. I don't have proper ensembles. I just have some pieces that I feel like I can still work with and that's just the line I'm trying to draw there that actually that explained it quite well I'm, pr I'm rather proud of that this is gonna be another yes I can tell you that right off the bat it's really cool I like to call it my Jack Sparrow shirt because it gives me really heavy Pirate of the Caribbean vibes love this think it will match nicely with a bunch of the things that I plan on getting so <sighs> all right these I have to keep because my mom got them for me and Fabi for Christmas these are our pajamas you get pajamas every Christmas Eve in the Carpenter household ours however they're just a little bit wide and they don't fit either of us. Bobby and I can fit actually into the same pair so I did promise my mom though that I would hold onto them and try to like take them in a little bit but you just can't wear them they literally fall off of my body. I will try this on again just to give it a chance. I like the fabric kind of. Bottoms make me the most nervous though. I'm the most picky about that because that's my most insecure area is like my legs. So anything that makes me feel a little bit smaller down there I will appreciate. Anything that does the opposite is not my favorite in the whole world. So I'm going to try this on see how this fits me now. This is cute but I can tell by looking at it already that I just don't like the length. It's so soft. It's so cozy. It's so comfy. But I feel like the neckline is super unflattering on me. I don't know why. I just think it sucks me in and it makes me like chubby. I, I don't know. But I feel like maybe if I cut the neckline a bit it'll look better. However, I'm also very well aware of the fact I could also just totally mess it up. And then not only will I not like it, but then I can't give it to somebody who would appreciate the neckline. Or I couldn't just keep it. Neckline as it. I'm having a little bit of a crisis about a sweater. Just gonna put it over here. We'll figure it out later. This I don't wear. It's so cute. So incredibly comfortable. I feel like this would be flattering on absolutely everyone who actually put the time into styling it properly. Wait, oh, why do I never wear this? this. I think it's because it's cropped and I've been so used to for the past couple months being very insecure about my body that I'm nervous about anything that's cropped right now even though I'm making a lot of progress with my body. I just I've had this since high school. I wore this in high school. It's this little black crop top that has rips all down the side. It also just doesn't fit me anymore at all. I think it's sweet because I do again remember the memories I made in this top but it is time to let go. I'll keep this. This is just a little basic tank top dress. Like I said, I'm still a little bit insecure about the tummy region and the legs region. I do just feel like it's good to have and it's a nice little... Oh! The reason why I don't wear this is because I can't wear a bra with it. This is really cute. This is really comfortable. I don't wear it at all. Such a good quality piece. Hasn't been worn at all. I literally don't think I've worn it a single time. Interesting. It's a different color than anything that I have. I'm going to keep this. I really am. This I'm going to keep because this is the sweater that I lived in over the last winter. Love it. It's so comfy. It's so cozy. The color I think is flattering. It's a little potato sacky, but it's just so soft and comfy and cozy. I got this from Zara. This was my first ever Zara purchase. I never liked Zara before I found this. And ever since, I've just been like looking a little closer, making a few purchases here and there. Oh, this I've had since middle school. That is no. It's just a basic crop top with some lacing down the front. I think I even have a picture on Instagram from like absolutely ages ago. In this not bad just one of the things that I feel okay letting go of good quality too literally can count on one hand how many times that like was worn I'm going to be getting rid of this maroon velvet tank top I really think it's because this neckline is slowly going out of style in my personal opinion or just within myself this is just so old this is a shirt I used to wear in like all of my videos just this peasant top um, that hangs off the shoulder it's actually a very sweet little top and I like it a lot I just it's something, 
I've been wearing it for like four years at this point. This I'm keeping. This is actually pretty new. I haven't worn it yet. I bought it recently. It's this cute little floral skirt with the cinching thing. It's like one of those little things, you know, that you cinch with. Wow. It looks very Parisian to me and we're going to Paris soon and I wanted something to wear in like my cute little picture in front of the Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna be completely honest, I like really, really don't feel well. It's like gotten progressively worse. I don't have that much more to do to be totally honest, but, and I'm gonna try and go a little bit longer, but have you ever like actually documented yourself get sicker by the second? Pretty sure that's what I just did. I'm gonna try everything on tomorrow, I think, and make final decisions. I mean, I will finish that and I will film that, but I'm just gonna maybe go take a little bit of a break for tonight because it's like, feels like there's horses running around in my brain. I really just have a couple more things to run through, so I'm gonna do my absolute best to let get them out of the way. But like I said, this skirt is for sure going to be a keeper. I love the Parisian. Did I mention that already? The Parisian design. For the most part, I mean, it's really just like t-shirts and stuff left over. That's probably not the most exciting in the world. But I do just want to inform everyone that I still have my giraffe onesie. This for sure I will be keeping. To be honest, I'm gonna put this on as soon as I stop filming because I just need to feel warm and cozy. I also have this basic crew neck army green sweater. <sighs> I like it because it's basic and plain and you can wear it with everything. I don't like it because it's super boxy. It's good to have just for those casual days. And it's good quality. It's from Aerie. The sweater's there for absolutely no apparent reason. Or like a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, yeah. So then there's this sweater. This is a perfect example of why I wanted to like try on all my stuff and see what I liked and what I didn't anymore. This I used to hate. Absolutely used to hate it. It's from Forever 21. It's this really big, chunky, but still kind of small knit sweater. It's really fuzzy. I will say it does shed absolutely everywhere, but it also feels like you're wearing a cloud. So, you know, I give it a pass. <laughs> this is so cool. And what I did was I really just stretched out the neckline as much as I could. It used to be really tight, but I just took my hands and pulled at it and it made such a huge difference. It hangs off my shoulder now, which is my favorite look in the world. So beachy, so cute, so cozy. Really great, love it now. Glad that I didn't toss that without even giving it a try on. This is a sweater that I have a feeling could possibly follow suit. I'm gonna try it tomorrow and we can see what we're gonna do. If anybody's still watching this, why are you so watching this? This, I've also had this since actually high school, I believe. I can't remember when I got it, but it's been like a bit. It's this cropped camel sweater with a really cool V neckline and also V backline. It like, back, backline? Is that what it's called? With the line in the back on your neck. It's your neck backline. I don't know. And it's really bouncy. I don't know if that's the appropriate way to describe a sweater, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It like, Bounces. Love the cut, love the color. It's a basic, it's something that's really nice and casual, but you can dress it up kind of, I feel like. Love this, I love putting bralettes underneath that as well because the neckline is a little bit droopy so you can like see a bunch of stuff. Oh, this is another thing that I just cut in half for no apparent reason. Um, I had this play suit. This is also from PacSun, the Kendall and Kylie uh, collection. I think I was going through a little bit of a phase. It was this romper that I decided to slice off because it wasn't fitting properly and I thought that the length was the problem and that if I cut it and just like split it up a bit. I've got Fabi's hair also. I have three things that look almost indistinguishable from each other but they're all very different to me because I'm a girl and that's how we work. First is this basic black crop top. I'm gonna try this on. As far as I remember, it doesn't fit. It's like, first of all, extra really all the way, not there at all. It's like a very bra -y kind of crop top. But honestly, that's not what bothers me. I think I remember that it just didn't fit properly strap-wise because they're not adjustable and I think it was tight underneath my arm. Oh yeah, this I have to let go because it doesn't fit me anymore. It's this really cute uh, little crop toppy bra -y mix, I would say. It's just too small. I can maybe try to squeeze myself into it for like the try-on section so you can see what it looks like on because the top fit is cut out on the top. It's actually really Really beautiful. I love this so much. It just I can't stand being in it because the zipper doesn't like It's a whole thing. This I like a lot. I've had this for a while. It's just this little crop top from How you doing? That looks like if Joey got really drunk and tried to say how you doing to someone but got it a little bit messed up I like it a lot. I mean it is like coming apart. I bought a sewing kit to fix that I just never fixed it. It doesn't fit. I have to tie the straps But I love how it looks from the front so much that I want to keep it <laughs> This well, this is just really dirty. That's nice. It's another shirt. I cut off. This is the white version of this actually, which I'm not sure how I feel about. I think I might crop this as well first and then 
try to decide because then I'll get a bandeau that is this camel color and that's actually something I've been on the lookout for. The white one I'm keeping also, <laughs> despite the fact that it's horrendously messy on the back because I may or may not have laid down in an eyeshadow palette of mine yesterday and it's just... I'm an adult. With this, I feel myself hoarding. I cannot bring myself to get rid of this pair of pants for one purpose and one purpose alone. When we were in Thailand, I wore them every single day. I actually wore these the night that I met Fabi, which is why I want to keep them so terribly. However, they're like trashed at this point. They're also like very bright and obnoxious. They were just the only pants that I could find that felt comfy Bye. and cozy. Bye. Bye. Love you. That felt comfy and cozy, but then also could kind of pass as fashion in the traveling Thailand world that I was in for the time that I was there. What a sentence. I just wore these all the fucking time. I have to keep these. And you know what? They're still as comfortable as they were, even though the hem is like ripped from all the times it got caught on the kickstand of our scooter or like when I was hiking in these because I didn't have anything else clean because it's Thailand. Like I just love the memories in that. That I will give, I'll let myself keep this really cute little Squirt. Um, it's this adorable pink color, which I think is what attracted me to it the most at first. And the cut was super flattering when I first got it. Problem is it shrank in the wash <laughs> like a lot. These I got from Primark recently. I don't quite know what I was thinking. Buying new clothes when you don't really know what your style is yet, I feel like is a very difficult thing to do. May have stumbled a bit with this purchase. They also like ripped and broke two days after me getting them. Not great Primark. But um, these are these little short things. <laughs> They're very little. I think that's the only thing that's really pulling me away from them. I'm also not the biggest fan of prints anymore. This is just a basic camel crop. I can kind of justify keeping this is if I really build it up in my head that I will wear this someday to an airport because I don't wear this kind of stuff at all or even just at home. Like I feel like this is a very casual kind of sweet thing to pair with a pair of your boyfriend's sweatpants or something. Like it's nothing really to get excited about. If I actually put it in my mind that I would wear it, I feel like it is something that I would wear. I just don't wear it. So maybe I'll give it a chance and see if some of the things that I can get my hands on will match nicely with that. It's very college Haley. College Haley would have worn the death out of this. College Haley did wear the death out of this. I like it. And I feel like it's a very versatile piece that you can wear a little bit more professionally, a little bit more casually, a little bit more cutesy and sexy if you really want to go there and make a far stretch you can like kind of I don't know you can do stuff with this this is the last thing I'm gonna do on camera I think everything else everything else is just boring like leggings that I have to go through and like find the holes in the last thing I want to show you is this really beautiful crop top I've had it for ages I don't even remember where I got it you know what's funny when I bought this way back when I bought it it was not my style and I think it actually is my style now a little bit it just looks vintage and in my favorite way in the whole entire world it looks like something my grandma would wear. I don't really know what I would wear it with but I think I'm gonna give it a chance Oh no! Bobby has told me to zip this up, which yes, makes me a little bit sad, but it happens to the best of us, so if you can't fit into your old dresses, don't stress about it. It's like the fifth time I've fallen trying to stand on my tippy toes for this. Oh, the professionalism. Here's what we're gonna do. The plan was that I was gonna film all of this in one day and we were gonna be able to recap everything and do it really professional and nice. I'm so, like I feel so bad. Tomorrow I will try on everything and we can like wrap all of that up. I think I'll just end the video here though just in case I forget to do that tomorrow which is likely knowing me. I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I don't really know why you would have enjoyed this video but I feel like I would love to watch some of my favorite YouTubers go through there closets why I don't know with all of that said thank you so much for watching this video I it was really nice to have you around while I was doing this felt a lot less lonely had a lot more fun I'm sorry I was chewing gum the whole time and that I was like dying a little bit <laughs> it's not how it was meant to be but I appreciate you guys being flexible and rolling with the punches with me I'm so happy to be back to filming I'm so happy to be around you guys again oh yeah I wanted to quickly just say that I <laughs> because of my laptop completely freaking out and erasing two videos I had pre-filmed and forcing me to re-edit another one that I had pre-filmed. I'm just gonna start off right now posting two times a week. So I think we're gonna do Thursday 
or Monday, Monday and Thursday for just straight now. Maybe we can do three days a week as soon as I get like my Mac figured out. I called Apple support over the last couple days, like twice and both times they said, we don't know how to fix your problem. What did you do? And I was like, I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to edit a video of me sitting on the floor of my room eating a watermelon and it won't work. And actually they have this thing where they can like look at your laptop screen and tell you what to do. And like, you can see their little cursor. It's bizarre and a little bit creepy, but I did it because I was desperate because I didn't want to spend another six hours editing a video that I had already spent six hours editing. He like came on and saw and looked at my final cut like streamline, streamline, timeline. He's like, oh, what is that? I was like, oh, it's a mukbang. He's like, oh, what is that? I was like, oh, I don't know. I ate a watermelon and I'm gonna put it on the internet and we're gonna see what happens. And then he was like, well, that's great. You're just gonna have to edit it all over again. And then I was like, two times a week is good for now. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you all soon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.